So in today's video, we're going to be discussing the five top suburbs in Union County for families to live in. Let's get to it. So Union County has a total of 21 towns and cities, but we did our homework, we did a little digging, and we found a couple statistics about what people consider the best towns are to live in for families. And then of course, we asked some of our past right. clients and then we're giving our opinion based on the fact that we are also locals. So starting off with number one, it's gonna be Summit, New Jersey, which is called Summit because it's located on a summit overlooking Wachon Reservation. The cool thing about Summit is that it has the best school districts in Union County. It's ranked number one as well. And right. the reason a lot of families are looking for this kind of location is not only is going to be an amazing school district, but you're going to have an easy commute to New York City as well. Yeah. It does have a train station that will get you there in about 50 minutes. And you're going to get that kind of community feel throughout right. the whole town. Yeah, so it's a very tight community and also it's a very upscale community. Right. It has an amazing downtown and you know, Summit is, you're going to get that sense in, in Summit. It's very, it's a very tight community. It's, and, and then when it comes to the downtown area, you're going to get a, a lot of different kind of cultural right. restaurants. But like Laura said, it's going to be in the higher end kind of living. It's going to be more luxury, pretty much higher end individuals that need that easy commute to New York City, need the best school districts in Union County, right. but also want that cultural luxury feel when you go to a downtown area. You're going to have uh, American style foods, you're going to have mm -hmm. Italian, you have Chinese, Portuguese, a little bit of everything. But what, something we really want you to understand because later on in the video you're going to get right. is that it is for that higher end individual. Right. Oh, and since we're mentioning that it's upscale, it is five minutes away from Short Hills Mall, which is known for its upscale stores like, you know, Gucci, Prada, you're going to find Louis Vuitton store there. Right. So you're going to find that maybe five minutes away from Summit. And from there, you also have the Watcher Reservation, as Laura right. said, is a huge reservation. You go hiking, fishing, whatever you want to do. and have major transportations like highway systems as well so summit is kind of a complete package for a lot of people that are looking for a family-based suburbs but understand mm -hmm. that properties there are going to run in the million plus maybe right. even two million depending on how how good your style is so number two on our list is definitely going to be westfield new jersey um westfield is also upscale this right. is a very upscale town However, it's not as expensive as Summit, and it has the number two schools in Union County. And the cool thing about Westfield is, like Laura said, it's more affordable. It's not as affordable. It's you're, you're definitely yeah. going to be in over a million dollars, affordable but definitely Summit. more affordable. One thing that you're going to notice when you go to Westfield is that it's you know they preserve its historical architecture. You're going to notice that in the downtown. Um, within the homes, they have a lot of beautiful, beautiful, like colonial homes. Right. Um, large Victorians. Large where... Victorians. You're going to see that throughout the town. But like I said, Westfield, you're going to have a little bit of, you know, more of an older feel to the town. And the big difference between a downtown area of Westfield and Summit is that Summit, it's, it's, they're both higher, higher scale kind of towns. I mean, downtown area. But in Westfield, it's going to be more of those bigger retail names like right. Gap. Um, urban outfitters, urban there's outfitters. gonna be way more things to do because Westfield does have a, a an award-winning downtown. You're not gonna get, you know, it, it's not gonna be um, that much to do in, in Summit, in my opinion. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be more of that higher end right. kind of restaurants. And the cool thing about Westfield that you're also gonna have a few pubs, maybe a few lounges, because right. unfortunately between Westfield and Summit, there isn't much of a nightlife at all. No. So they're very much more suburban. And you're gonna get a lot of the cool amenities. Like for example, you're still gonna get the Short Hills Mall nearby. You're still gonna get the Washington Reservation. And then most importantly, you're also gonna get a train station that gets you into New York City. Fairly quick, 50 minutes, and you're gonna have a, a bus that also gets into New York City. So commute wise, almost the same. Biggest difference in my opinion is just the upper scale of Summit right. and the overall it's a uh, price of real estate when it comes to right. buying a Summit over Westfield. Yeah, I think that would be like the biggest differences because when it comes to like safety and you know how beautiful it is for families, I yeah. think they're they're both beautiful and I mean that's why they're number one and number two. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so we went from we went from Summit to Westfield, just going down south. Now let's go east to the middle of uh, Union County, which is Cranford. This town is one of my favorites because you're getting a lot of the higher end feel of a town, but still with a lot of the younger generation coming into it. That downtown area of Cranford is 
a lot less upper scale than some in Westfield, but you're gonna get a lot of nicer. It's like, very well kept. Um, you're gonna have like a lot of things to do, a lot of restaurants, a lot of us, a lot of the restaurants there could be upscale too. It's not just Summit um, and Westfield, but it is a little bit more like cafes and yeah. like a lot for, like more chill yeah um and that's kind of like the 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 whole vibe of the town it's it's definitely like like the little the little you know the little kid of westfield and yeah Simon, i would i would say you're gonna see a a, a definitely a way younger crowd there yeah and cranford also have a train station that is in the downtown area so a lot yeah. of the commuters that need to be a little bit closer to new york because cranford is a little bit closer so the train will probably get you in there in yeah. 40 45 minutes so a lot of the people moving there are that younger generation since Cranford the downtown has a lot of those newer condo constructions as well. Right. You have like the Starbucks, you have um, pubs, you have little bars. It's, it's, it's a lot cuter and affordability wise, it is a lot more, a lot affordable, more affordable than Westview or, or Summit. Mm -hmm. Properties like for example, a one family um, in Cranford average is, is around 700,000. You go to a Summit in Westfield, they're way over a million dollars but you're still getting that historical feel of the town because Cranford right. is very much historical. Yeah, they also preserve. They preserve it a lot. And you're getting the perks, like for example, you're still getting one of the top school districts. Yeah. You're getting a lot of parks, like the New Mohegan Park. It's a huge yeah. park that also connects with um, Kenilworth and is very, it's right next door of the Gallatin Hill Golf Arena. Right. That is in Kenilworth, but a lot of people from Cranford also go there as well. So you're getting those surrounding benefits right. and still have an amazing town and right. an amazing culture right. and a lot of the younger generations are loving it there. Yeah, and it's, it's a, definitely like a younger feel to it. Also, I didn't know until today that Cranford was considered the Venice of Union oh, County. Yeah. And it's because we actually passed by the other day. Um, the, the homes there in Nomohegan, which is the park, they're beautiful, they're stunning, they're huge. Some of them actually have ducks in their backyard because oh. they have a, a, a river there. It's called the Rari River. Yeah, they have a river there. And I guess they, you know, the residents, whoever owns those properties, they're able to go canoeing. And that's another thing. They have canoeing in, in, in have, Cranford. Have the so canoeing club. There's a lot to do. Yeah, it's a lot to do. And so it's great for families. Families, younger generation. So this might be a little biased, but we have, Cranford kind of gives you like the best of both worlds because right. You're also gonna have the nightlife of Elizabeth that is Which very is near so Cranford close, yeah. and it's literally on one street. So Cranford is perfect for the younger generation that are trying to start a family. More affordable. More affordable and you're kind of in the center and so yeah. near everything. All right, so number four is Berkeley Heights. And this town has been ranked not only in Union County, New Jersey, but in many states in the United States, one of the best suburban towns to live in. Um, it's located all the way Northwest Union County, literally, literally one of the last towns um, up north. And it has one of the best school districts, number four, right. in Union County. Not only that, there's it's a little bit a lot more older feel than the other towns. Right. There's not much of a downtown area. No, yeah. So in the downtown area, you're gonna find like um, the Berkeley Heights Shopping Center. Right. What you're gonna find there is definitely not gonna be like Summit, right. West or Westfield. Or Cranford. And you're gonna find like maybe the Stop and Shop or yeah. the Putt Supply Store. You know, stores like that. It's more kind of like shopping centers yeah, instead of yeah, a downtown. Little shopping centers. It's right off like a main highway that connects uh, Berkeley Heights, New Providence, and Summit. And it's definitely a lot different field. But it's the cool thing. It's gonna be very suburban. A lot way more suburban. Mm -hmm. But the cool thing is that it still has a train station that goes into New York City. So you still have the easy commute, about an, a little bit for, a longer than the other ones, about an hour. Mm -hmm. But you still have the possibility of getting into New York. Right, right. You also have still expensive real estate, mm -hmm. but a lot better price than More Summit or Westfield. More affordable than the, the ones we mentioned. I mean, it is close to Summit, so you yeah. do have the amenities of Summit. And then the Wachong um, Reservation is there for anybody that likes hiking or, right. you know, are into nature. The Wachong actually, um, um, Berkeley Heights actually has part of the Wachong in right. the town. So you're literally right there. But it's going to be a lot different field. Mm -hmm. It's those people that literally want just suburban right. and don't want, want the least amount of possibility when it comes to the urban feel of a town. So before we get to our last town, um, I just want to remind you that we are licensed realtors. My name is Laura. This is Luca. We are the Lestrade team, the relocation experts here in Union County. And over here, our number is going to pop up. We, you know, just call us, text us. 
email us if you have any questions we are the people that pick up the phones and not only that every monday and friday we're gonna drop a video like the one you just been seeing or it could be a map vlog about union county right. so make sure you subscribe hit that bell so you're notified every single time we upload a video because like laura said we love making these videos but we're licensed real estate agents make sure to give us a call let's get to the next town all right, so we made it to the last town and that's going to be Scotch Plains. All right, Scotch Plains is also known for having very competitive schools. It is number six and I know it's, you know, compared to the other ones, it's the last on the list. But just like the other ones, Scotch Plain is rated an A school. So they're all A, a plus A, a school. So that's what you're going to get. And out of the list we had we gave today, the only one that didn't have A schools was uh, Cranford, had B, B average schools. But you know, overall, the school systems here in this part of Union County and these um, suburb towns are really good. Something you have to take into account when going into Scotch Plains is that mm -hmm. in kind of in the middle of Scotch Plains is Fanwood. So a lot of things between Scotch Plains and Fanwood right, right. correlate together, like the high school, they both go to the same high schools. And from Scotch Plains, you need to drive maybe two minutes to Fanwood to go to a train station. And from there, you get into New York City within 50 minutes. Right. It's pretty cool. The only thing is that it's a lot older uh, feel of a town. Right. Like the downtown area, it's just a bunch of mom and pop shops. Yeah, there, so you're not going to find much there. You're not going to find much like for not even like Cranford or mm. Westfield. But mm. something really cool in the past few years, there's been a lot of talk about it, is that they're trying to renovate all that downtown area. They want to make it mm. all brand new condos, townhouses, styles. A bunch of different shops so you're seeing that in every town union county is a lot of different benefits some have a little bit others than, than others but you see that this yeah. all these towns we spoke about have kind of the top three important things sure. schools um commute and overall um lifestyle of the town yeah a lot of another thing i know we've been mentioning um Wachong reservation this is also close to Wachong reservation um, just so you guys know, and then it has Berkeley Heights has um, the deserted village. Oh right. Um, so it's close to the deserted village as well, which is just a bunch of buildings from the 18th century. And the village, there's no one lives yeah. there, but people go there to hike. It's you know pretty pretty cool. And that's right off Watchon. So you're seeing that kind of the, these nicer towns are in the north west kind of in the center mm -hmm. but you know these towns are great for families right. if you're someone that's not looking to start a family if you're someone that wants more of maybe the younger generation feel maybe a younger town or even a better commute being county is huge there's so many opportunities right. out there so make sure if you are looking to make that big move to the garden state give us a call info's going to be coming any second now we are the ones answering pretty much everything coming our way and we want to be the agents for you